Good day everyone. Today, we will discuss about the popular culture in the Philippines through theoretical lens. We are hoping that you will be with us as we discuss to you the said topic. At the end of our report, we are able to define and comprehend the concepts of the culture industry and agenda seating theory. Integrate culture industry and agenda seating theory within the construct of Philippine pop culture. It means that popular culture is our way of living, the way we interact in common and we share practices to others. At this moment, let us also discuss the meaning of theoretical lens. It is a kind of qualitative analyst that allows us to see and interpret the context of particular setting. It signifies that it is a type of situated learning theory in which we shared common knowledge that bound to particular context. Now, let us define and comprehend the Philippine popular culture. Philippine popular culture refers to a common cultural heritage. We cannot deny the fact that Harana is the common culture of our country, going back to our ancestors' way of courtship. This is the way that makes us unique culturally. Going back to our history, we are colonized by the Spaniards, Japanese, and Americans. So basically, we inherit their cultures and practices as being imparted to us. It really describes who we are as Filipinos and we are famous on that matter. Yes, it is a good to be true indeed. We notice that during typhoons and calamities, despite of any circumstances, Filipinos learn to smile and move on, simply because we are brave and strong. We don't want problems ruin our life. Instead, we find ways to solve on it. We are family-oriented. We always put in our hearts and mind that our family is the seedbed of our vocation and profession. Even we belong to the poorest among the poor, but we take pride to our family. One of the common examples on this is the Roman Catholic Church growers. Perhaps one of us is still doing these practices. Basically, it is a pride for us because we are God-centered people no matter what. Until now, we did this. We shows our love through respect, and we act on it every now and then. We have a big heart to respect especially to those people who take good care for us. We are a loving and respectful Filipinos. Filipinos always obtain the essence of utang na loob. We enjoy to help someone. We proud that we extend our hands to those people who help us and who need our help. At least, we are helping people we have shared responsibilities. Yes, we love gatherings and we have love to celebrate. It is the time to meet our relatives and invite our friends, classmates, to be with us to celebrate. Siyempre, mayroong pagkain. Walang saysay ang celebration kapag wala ito. Every corner in the Philippines, we celebrate festas, charter day, foundation, birthday, and so on. Tatak natin yan bilang isang Pinoy. Like for instance, in Bukidnon, we celebrate Kaamulan Festival. This celebration is to celebrate the seven tribes of Bukidnon by performing rituals and ceremonies. Therefore, the Filipinos celebrate with beautiful meaning to take pride and honor to our IP people and to show their cultures and traditions 
This is the best treasure that we have being Filipinos. As long as the month has the word new, then we start counting the days up to Christmas season. Then most of us put some decorations in our home and buying something that we can give to our loved ones as our gift during Christmas. We really like to eat even saging and dinamos. We, in, we enjoy to eat, especially with the group. I want to take snack anytime and love to eat street foods and so on. Even we sing without the tone as long we can then make us happy. Mayroon talagang kantahan kapag may celebration. Even without celebration, we sing because we believe that this is the way to cope up the, our stress. We are all talented and gifted. We, we can make and create something with utmost level of creativity. We have the passion for anything different and unique. And this juncture take us also integrate culture industry to our pop culture. What is culture industry? It is the period of enlightenment that we gradually adapt and leave the concept of modernization. At this moment, we are thinking that our way of living is well and good that we have the capacity to think beyond the box. With this, we compare our situations to the progressive countries. This means that our way of living is gradually changed and we set standard through the production of some corporation. Example, sapatos, chinelas, clothes, and so on. Many factories produce and cater of our needs. So, kung okay, sa imuha sa una ang magtiniil din karon dili na kinahanglan magtiniil kay anay sapatos o chinelas in short we are not contented on this matter we always await what is the latest then we think that we belong to the group if and only we adapt the latest and what is common it means we idolize people who is popular even we cannot encounter them in a real sense. Perhaps we follow them into the Facebook and Twitter. Thus some of us we idolize by Ganda and some famous celebrities. Therefore, we love some product because of advertisement. Those most of the product now are posted through TV, radio, newspaper, and so on. It will attract versus especially the advertisement is suitable and caters our need. Example, shampoo. maka yun tang ang atong viewers mo buy aning a product because ang ginagamit nila nga model o mga artista yung famous o shiny kayo girl so that the viewer having to interest to buy this kind of product. Adorno or the high cleaner emphasized that culture industry is promoting mass cultures, even the side cultures is not suitable and acceptable in our way of living. Those are greatly effect of humanity. Example, is there some of the culture industry na makapromote na dili siya suitable or acceptable in our way in living o maka-effect to siya sa atong kaugalingon? kapag huna-huna o sa iba pa. Industry is a period of enlightenment, however, its effect to our perceptions about the world and the humankind. O kusa sa imong nakasanayan nga makabago na siya because of the influence of advertisement. In the media, examples, in the way nga mapapiring of food sa una nga maggulay pata but because of the stand na pwede ra kay easy ra kayo ang pagprepare nato nga magnoodles na lang because in advertisement nga makita nato nga ang product nga dali ra kay lutoon kaysa maggulay pata 
dili na ta magkalisod-lisod pa. Uh, through culture industry, capitalized exists and become more popular. There is a monopoly. It is the mass productions and technology. We are controlled by the cultures industry. We have a dictated kung ano ang gawin or hindi dapat gawin. Besides, let us always remember that so much interventions and effectives are functions and are potentials. Through monopoly, sometimes the freedoms of expression has been oppressed, like for instance, in politics situation. Versus EBS-CBN, based on the news, the, mom the moment decide situations was being closed, some of the peoples claiming that government controlled the freedoms of expression without knowing the details of this company. Sometimes we think that we are totally free, but we are oppressed by the media and serve industry we are controlled by them. This means that cultures industries create softness of the society, however, they believe it is involved from a release on that sense of the cultures industry. It's safe in our everyday life. When cultures industry is today is nakahatag siya o mga positive ng effect, but not all become o daghan sad kaayo ng mga negative effect, pero it depende, it depends o depende ni gihapon sa atong kaugalingon kung atong ni apply na kabaluta, this is wrong. You know, this is a uh, many kind of effect or have negative or positive but if you if you know what is this is a negative effect, uh, you cannot apply for your or in your life. This because makahatag sa ulak ko kayo kapahamakan ko ato kung i-apply nga kabalota na kani mali. And this is all. Thank you. True culture industry, our imagination become reality through technology like. For example, movies and some digital gadgets. This means that Adornos look into the fake of this theory that is presupposes chains but controlled by some richest people. Most of the common industry that arose in our country is Jalebi industry. This is the frame of Jalebi industry on what kind of industry it is. This is the banner of Jalebi industry. It is also catchy and we really love their products and we buy it every now and then. In perfect, the industry progress because of our unceasing contributions. Now let us discuss about agenda sitting through theory and integrate in it to our popular culture. Agenda sitting theory implies that our own opinion and the way we perceive things was based on the new source, especially the media. He's the one who developed the study in 1968. And this theory emphasized the importance of media. Thus, our culture when the media involved has been covered yet we sort to forget the essence of our culture because we rely on our way of living through media. Every world events now, every world can view on it. Example, the war in Russia and Ukraine. We grasp a little knowledge about it through media. Bernard Cohen emphasizes that the progress of media depends how people take on it. So the way we watch media is the way we contribute and phantom on its importance. Makov emphasizes that we can create stories through the media and perhaps this story may affect the lives of people. So media is powerful, it affects the lives of individuals positively and it can be negative. We can create stories to destroy humanity or promote life. For example, during election, if you are anti-Lani, then you post propaganda that can be destroyed the potential of particular candidates. 
Therefore, press cannot be always be reliable resources in every aspect of our intuitive aspect. It means that we can imagine how the world it could be throughout media. We can picture out the happenings of the world through it. So this is the ultimate function of the press. They provide and make things extraordinary. Therefore, media is powerful. It change and cover our popular culture sometimes we act like what we watch the media so through media we grabs and knows everything that happened in the world so we can do a lot of research because media and we verify the certain topics like for the instance advertisement and some propaganda they use models and any perspective that will influence the people what think about Media point out the parts of the subject that being essential. Sad to say that through media, people being used as an object, not a subject, but not true to all. On this regard, we deprive the dignity of the human person. Finally, we conclude that we live on this world with the influence of media is prevalent. So we need to be oriented on how to use media with utmost care and love to our humanity. We should use media to prevail the truth and promote goodness. The moment that we are equipped to use media, the moment we become influencer to humankind. This is the framework emphasized, the essence of agenda sitting theory, the reality and media must be perceived by the public. This is how the culture industry and agenda sitting theory infected our pop culture. Noon, kailangan natin mangharana para kuhain natin ang puso ng ating iniibig. But ngayon, kakaiba na. We can court someone through online, text, and so on. Thus, our cultural dance from Bihira na ngayon Mayroon ng hip-hop, remix, disco, and so on. Let us look at this slide. Let us notice how do people involve their way of living during 1950 and 2000. Our culture has been infected by culture, industry, and media. Before we will end our report, mag-iiwan kami ng kasabihan na Cultural difference should not separate us from each other, but rather cultural diversity brings a collective strength that can benefit all of humanity by Robert Allen.